battalion, leading the way for his crack battalion, humble in spite of his victories in war. Loved by the people that he protected, blessed in the churches that he erected in those days of yore. Friends, I know what you will say of me. Here is just another pardoner. A man who sells forgiveness of worldly sins. A plausible rogue to take our money. Money earned with the honest sweat of our brows. That's the way we earn it, Brother Nicholas. So you do, my friend. And you sweat enough in this world, so why sweat more in the next? Therefore, I say, buy a pardon. Only sinners need to buy one. And are you not a sinner, man? Am I, Brother Nicholas, not a sinner also? We are all sinners. The devil is born in us. We must drive him out. Seek redemption. And I am here to help you find it. Friar James looks after us. And who is Friar James? Chaplain to the old vicar for all the property around here. It belongs to Sir Roland. Sir Roland de Vere. That's right. Good people, I have here a pardon signed by the Pope himself. Can Friar James give you that? It is strange, Sir Gilbert, that there were no stable boys in the yard. Should have been. It's big enough in. Ah, I detect a faint odor of pigeon pie. My favorite. <laughs> oh, landlord. Now remember, I am Sir Philip of Kent, and you are my squire. I understand. At your service, sirs. What can I do for you? We require two rooms, landlord. Oh, certainly, sir. Where are your stable boys? There were none in the yard. Oh, I'm afraid they've run off into the middle of the town. It's not often that something of interest happens there. Oh, a fire? A public hanging? Oh, no, a priest selling pardons. A pardoner? I'll go and see about your horses. No, 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 wait. The horses are tethered securely enough for the moment. A pardoner, you say? Yes, yes. His name is Brother Nicholas. That may be our man, squire. Go and take a look. I will, Sir Philip. Uh, better go unarmed. I am Sir Philip of Kent. My squire and I are on pilgrimage. Well, to pray at the Holy Church of Canterbury. Oh, but Sir Philip, th that's in your own shire. I did not mean that kind of pilgrimage. We are simply making a journey through the county. But I am looking for a pardon, innkeeper. A very special kind of pardon. And I think that Brother Nicholas is the one man who sells it. Friends, I sell this pardon for a trifling sum. If you can't afford this one signed by a pope, then I'll sell you one signed by a bishop. How do we know they're genuine? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question, madam. One can't be too careful nowadays. Behold, a relic, a holy relic, a bone taken from a saint that perished in Palestine. I've seen it before. When was that, friend? On a mutton that died in the pot. <laughs> you laugh at eternal punishment, fools. Listen to a boy trying to be clever. Blunder on in your blasphemy, then. I'll take my pardons elsewhere and leave you to your fate. Don't go, Brother Nicholas. You're not of this town, young man. Be quiet or take the consequences. Good pardoner, we are all sinners, but poor. Repent, then, of your sins and avoid damnation. Then you may be allowed to buy one of my pardons. See this? A glove. Worn by a martyr in Muscovy. Would I possess such relics if I had no power? Master Palmer, wear this glove but once, and your harvest shall be doubled. I'm afraid it's beyond my purse. Besides, I'm a sheep farmer. Then you'll gather twice as much wool. <laughs> <laughs> Enough! There's always one like you. But you've gone too far this time. Well, can't I buy a pardon? No. Friends! A man who mocks at relics is one of Satan's own. A good clout with earthly knuckles will work wonders in his soul. Go ahead, Brother Nicholas. My turn next. And mine. Stop. Arrest that man. You'll be Sir Roland. I am, and we allow no partners here. Thieves, a lot of you. Besides, we have our own vicar. The worthy friar, no doubt. You were a disgrace to the cloth you wear, pardoner. Oh, come, come, Friar James. Live and let live. Your order preaches poverty, and yet you wear around your neck a trinket that costs some sinner a pretty penny. We'll put him in the stock. 
See how he likes a flogging. What about the pardon? His pardons are worthless, false. His relics are fake. That's what the young man said. Who? I'm Squire Gilbert. My master stays at the inn. If you don't believe in my pardon, Sir Roland, perhaps if you look in my belongings, you will find a document that will vouch for me, signed by my own liege lord. Here it is, Sir Roland. Liege lord, Harkfriar. Some petty knight who's no more a liege lord than I'm a... No, it's, it's impossible. Look, brother. Richard. The king. Signed, Richard the Lionheart. And now, Sir Roland, it's you I really came to see. Perhaps I can persuade you to buy a pardon. Trifling cheap. Well, maybe I did make a mistake. You'd better come to the manor house. Dine with me, we'll talk there. It's true, Your Majesty. And I caught a glimpse of the scroll. It looks like your signature, all right. At last, we have traced him. You think he's the one, sire? I am positive. Oh, England is full of pardoners. Some genuine and authorized, but most of them rogues, trading on country folk's simplicity. But this one fits exactly the description we have heard. A traveling professional pardoner who sets up in the marketplace to attract the most attention. Then when he has learned the name of the local lord or landowner, he goes after him. Then they are the ones he sells to. They're the ones who give him a sizable amount of money. The peasants and townsfolk haven't got much to spend on pardons. Yet the lords and landowners are not usually very gullible. Do you really think they'd part with a sizable amount of money for bits of parchment supposed to be signed by the Pope? I did not say he sells them parts. What does he get their money for? Blackmail. Blackmail? For what? I am not sure yet. From what I saw, Your Majesty, they were impressed with the paper with your signature on it. My forged signature, Sir Gilbert. Well, I think that a word with Brother Nicholas is in order. Oh, too late, sire. He's gone to the manor house to dine with Sir Roland. Has he, by heaven? Yes. And the strange thing is, Sir Roland as much as ordered him off his lands as a cheat and a scoundrel at first. That only strengthens my theory of blackmail. And I do not much care for its being done in my name, Sir Gilbert. Have some more wine, Brother Nicholas. No, thank you, Sir Roland. Oh, but you are among friends here, brother. I know that, Friar. My wits are my friends, and I always keep them about me. All right. Let's get down to business. How much does King Richard want? It's not as easy as that, Sir Roland. I'm empowered to make a tour of your estates. When I know what you're worth, I'll be able to answer your question better. Tell me, how did you find me? Oh, simple. I set up in the marketplace, listen for the local landowner's name. If it tallies with one of my lists, I know I've sold a pardon. Pardon? <laughs> that what you call it? You betrayed King Richard. For a certain amount of money, he's prepared to forgive you. I'd call that buying a pardon, wouldn't you? You're nothing but a parasite! Takes one to know one, as we say in the cloister. Well, gentlemen, a lot of walking to do tomorrow, I expect. I think I'll get some sleep. The best guest room has been prepared for you. And naturally. Don't bother to escort me. I'll ask my way to my room and check your expensive furniture en route. Good night, both. He made a fool of you in the town fire. You do not have to tell me. I do not have to tell you, I hope, what to do. But Sir Roland, I'm a man of the cloth. Kicked out of the church years ago under another name. No one else need know about it but you and me. But I have my price, Friar. Oh, we would have you share our cheer, landlord. Yes, a cup of wine in return for a delightful meal. The suckling pig was done to a turn. Thank you, sir. But uh, might I suggest, landlord, the next time you cook a salmon, a wisp of fennel down the backbone can work wonders. <laughs> By the way, I see there are no other guests. Are we out of season? Can you gentlemen keep a secret? You can trust us. And then the only thing out of season around here is Prince John. Prince John? Aye, Sir Philip the brother of our brave king, Richard the Lionheart. Can you tell me why? When King Richard was at the Crusades, but recently, and captured, Prince John proclaimed that King Richard was dead and appealed to the people to put him on the throne at once. Now, he did have a lot of support from a number of the noblemen, but it's said that he bought some of this support with extra land. I begin to understand. 
Sir Roland? Sir Roland de Vere was one of John's men. Now, this was not widely known, but at an inn we know everything sooner or later. And now that King Richard is back, John's supporters have gone. Underground, as they say. But why should that empty your inn? Because Sir Roland discourages travellers through his lands. He's afraid that King Richard's agents may find him out. That is it. That is it, Gilbert. The link. Sire? Well, do you not see? Blackmailing John's supporters in my name. The pardoner? Give me that list of all the landowners who are known to have been visited by this pardoner. Here. As I thought, everyone on this list is suspected of having sympathized with my brother. So, the pardoner pretends that you are willing to sell forgiveness. But what of those who do not buy? Well, it is obvious. They are those who, even if they supported John, know me too well to think that I would stoop to such petty revenge. Sire, you are the king. I am, good landlord. But sit down and finish your wine. Will you help me to trap this villain of a pardoner? The man who drags Richard the Lionheart's name through the mud deserves death. Ah! Oh, nice work, Fry. That'll probably rouse the house home. I'll head my men away till you get back to your room. Oh, God, to me, ho! God! Quick, we came from that direction. must have come from that way after all, sir. I guess true. Someone must be attacking the partner. He's dead. Looks like he's been stabbed. Murdered? I guess the mind murdered someone will be... It's not Brother Nicholas, sir. I'll show you to your room. Thank you, landlord. But before you go, just repeat what you were going to do. Now, well, I'm to go to the manor house and I'm to see the partner alone. Then I'm to ask him to come and see you secretly. I'm to tell him that you are one of Prince John's men and, of course, that you are Sir Philip. Right, that's it. For the moment, I remain Sir Philip. And with luck, Brother Nicholas will try to sell me a part. <laughs> your own forged pardon, sir. Landlord! Ah, business is improving. Sire, that's Brother Nicholas. The partner? Are you sure? Positive. Well, the man's a spellbinder with a crowd. I'd know his voice anywhere after today. Right. Landlord, we can start our plan right away. See what he wants. Yes, sir. Landlord, get me a horse. A good horse. At this time of night? I had to leave my donkey and cart at the manor. I was in something of a hurry, you understand. A cart? I'm afraid we don't deal with peddlers. Peddlers? I'm Brother Nicholas, your fool, the pardoner. Well, I'm very sorry, sir, but we still haven't got a horse. Uh, if you see my brother at the livery stable, he may be able to help you in the morning. The morning's too late. Give me some wine. Yes, sir. You know Friar James, chaplain to Sir Roland? Yes, he's a hearty man in his cups, but uh, not much of a priest. He's even less of one now. I've just killed a swine. But, of course, he attacked me first, you understand? I understand, sir. And I also realize why you need a horse. Listen, if he's going to get away, sire. No, he must sell me a pardon. I'm relying on the landlord. And on you, squire. You don't seem very busy around here. Mm, I have two guests, sir, but they retired early. There was a squire in the marketplace today. His knight must be staying here. It's sir Philip of Kent. Will that be all? No, confound you, it will not be all. Get him down here. No, oh, sir, I couldn't do that. He retired early. And anyway, he acts like a man with a very short temper. And you, landlord, act like a man with a very short life. Do as I say. I'll buy his horse from him, and he can get another one in the morning. Well, sir, I suppose he could do that, but... No, I couldn't get him down. A commission, landlord. A commission, partner? I thought that might interest you. All you innkeepers are the same. I'll give you half the purchase price. Half. 
No, 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 I couldn't. And besides which, it's too risky. Flag, take you, want it all. Scared of a paltry knife? No, sir, you don't understand. You see, I think he retired early because he didn't wish to be seen. You mean he's a criminal? As good as, sir, with King Richard back in the land. Oh, I've said too much. You have indeed. He's one of Prince John's men, isn't he? A few remarks his squire made, sir. Nothing more. That's enough for me. Which is Sir Philip's room? No, sir. You can't go in there. You can't. Get out of the way. I thought I'd get you here. Come to buy that pardon, Sir Roland. Get out of the way, landlord. No, sir. No, I, ca I can't permit this in my inn. You won't have it in if you don't get out. Murderer. You'll sell no more of your accursed pardon. Sword against dagger. You sure the odds are enough? You should have brought your bodyguard with you. The least my soldiers see of you, the better. Right, Gilbert. Now it's up to you. Sire, in the dining hall. I know, I know. We've been listening. Then you know, Sir Roland, is you? Oh, sire, I don't like it. There's going to be trouble. You have been very cooperative. Now leave the rest to us. Yes, sir. <laughs> Guard, Sir Roland. Must have a fair fight. Get out, bud. Your own business. This is my business. Brother Nick has attacked me in the market this morning. I want him for my own. Call it a fair fight. Two against one. One against one, Sir Roland. Many thanks, Squire. Look out, he's getting away. Your sword, Sir Roland. I'm a desperate man, Sir Philip. And I'll offer you a bargain. What sort of bargain? Any sort of bargain that would interest you. You see, I know that your name is not Sir Philip. Sir, what happened to you? I'm all right. First, what happened to you? Well, I, I went into the dining room and started to attack Sir Roland. As you expected, the partner left me to it. Didn't he come up here? Yes, he did. How did you end with Roland? Uh, caught him off guard for a moment, made him give up his sword. Held him at bay long enough to give you time to talk to the partner. Good work. Then what? I told him I'd give up his sword to my knight. Here it is. And without that, he was not so brave, eh? <laughs> no, he left pretty quickly. But uh, to save face, he did manage to say that this inn was on his property, and that if we weren't out of here by morning, we'd uh, be charged with helping the villain escape. Did Brother Nicholas hurt you, sire? Oh, no, that was just a bluff on my part to give him a chance to escape. I'm going to follow him. It'll take him some time to get ready a horse to which he is not accustomed. My cloak, Gilbert. I don't understand. Well, as you know, the landlord told him that I had been one of Prince John's sympathizers. Well, the partner said he knew my name could not be Sir Philip because such a name was not on his list. So I traded my horse for one of his pardons. As soon as he knew where the horse was, he was out of that window like a bird. Why did you let him escape, Your Majesty? I saw his list, Gilbert. It is a very full one. The name of every landowner who sympathized with John is on it. There is somebody important behind this. Pardoners are cunning fellows, sire. Well, that may be, but few people could supply such a list. And since the partner felt free to commit murder, it means that he has a powerful protector somewhere. You mean a traitor at court? Who knows? Settle up with our good friend the landlord in the morning. Uh, give him Sir Roland's sword to do with as he pleases. I must follow the partner's trail. But, sire, he's taken your horse. No, Gilbert, your horse. I was careful in my description. I'm sure the landlord knows somebody who will sell you another. Ride back to London and wait for me there. Ah, the Queen will wonder where you are. Tell her I am being led to the greatest traitor of them all. The one whose name is not on that list.
Landlord, refreshment for me and for my horse. I've ridden all night and half the morning. There are you and me tonight. I've only yesterday's bread. My wife hasn't baked today yet. Oh, well, just bring me wine then, and water my horse. And tell me, landlord, have you seen a pardoner hereabouts in the last few hours? Now, what would a pardoner be doing in the bloody butcher? This pardoner happens to be a bloody butcher, landlord, and he has escaped me. Then let him go. You've given your inn a very frightening name. Is it to scare customers off? <laughs> Doesn't seem to work, does it? I would like a proper answer. Of course, Sir Knight. This inn was called the Sign of the Bloody Butcher long before I took it over. And maybe for good reason. I meant about the partner. He is a tall man with long dark hair and a beard wearing a monk's habit. No such man came in here. You want your wine? Yes, let me have the wine. <laughs> well, you can't have it. You get no wine here. Something of a thirst myself. I've been in the saddle all night. You should have gone elsewhere. I'm very displeased, Brother Nicholas. Very. Shall we forget the brother? Where else could I go? I had to come to you. You said you were followed. Well, it was only Sir Roland. Anyway, I gave him a slip. Are you sure it was Sir Roland? Well, of course. Who else could it be? Look, you said you'd protect me. You murdered. I didn't tell you to go to those extremes, Nicholas. That was in self-defense. Here, look at the hilts. The severe arms. Sir Roland gave it to the friar to try and kill me. The friar must have been an extremely ruthless man for Sir Roland to be able to goad him on to murder. <laughs> well, I'm selling no more pardons. There's the money, all of it. Now give me my share. That I'll do. And then you will leave this country and henceforth never return. Banishment? I can't live in exile. But you do want to live. Well, yes, of course, but... Then your only chance of doing that is to obey me. There you are, then. That's all you get. So you've changed your mind. Good. I happen to know King Richard is anxious to maintain the standard of English inns. By heaven, this is no wine. Aye, didn't I say you'll get no wine here? Neither would Lionheart himself if he came. It is cider. Very good cider, too. Cider's all we serve tonight. The best in the country, too, it is. Of course. How stupid of me. This is cider country. And Bloody Butcher is the name of your cider apple. Who says it wasn't? <laughs> You've been making fun of me, innkeeper. You're in his name for good reason indeed. So there's a wine press nearby. There is, Sir Knight. And there's caves in the hills just nearby where the casks are wrapped. Caves, eh? That would be it. There is more fermenting in those caves, innkeeper, than cider. I've been looking for. And I have arrived just in time. You stayed too long, didn't you, John? Yes, I did, didn't I? some caves where they store cider. I knew I need look no further. You never could resist cider, could you, John? It will be the death of you yet. What are you going to do with me? Banish you from the country forever. No, I could never live in Egg. Oh, that's what he said. Who? The partner. I've 
banished him from the country. Well, it's a suitable punishment for both of you. As soon as we get back to London, you go. We're starting right away. But first, whatever your faults, Brother John, and there are many, I must admit, you do know yourself. Humble in spite of his victories in war Loved by the people that he protected 